Welcome to the shooting show. This week, Byron's in the borders driving pheasants, plus we look at gunmaker's Zolly. This week, Byron goes back to the borders to see friend and hunter Steve Gray, who is picking up on a local syndicate shoot. We'll be following the shooters over two days as they tackle high-flying birds on one of their last days of the season. The terrain here makes for some great pheasant drives. Undulating ground with good woods that presents high birds will call for some good shooting to fill the game cart. These days are not about massive bags, but challenging shooting and great company, as the syndicate members enjoy their 13 days a year. As the first morning progresses, the guns soon find a rhythm as birds start to fall from the sky with some regularity. Even if you aren't partaking in the shooting itself, it's quite a spectacle just to watch the numerous birds flying over the guns and selected pheasants fold and drop to the ground. There is certainly plenty of fine shooting going on here. The flow of birds is constant, presenting some great shots. By the time you get to the later part of the season, the birds are a bit flighty and strong on the wing, and the quality of shooting tends to be at its very best. The gun dogs are busy too, as pickers up and guns send their dogs to retrieve the fallen, accounting for all the birds hit before gathering up the drive's bag and heading for the game cart. Shoot captain Mark James tells us how the syndicate works. Yeah, we uh, lease the ground off the uh, Duke of McClue. We have 22,000 acres here that we rent. Um, obviously, the syndicate's been going for six years. Um, there's a group of us come together. We come from down south, and we come up here and shoot. We shoot um, 13 days uh, a season, and uh, we then sell some other days during the season. Uh, that obviously um, to pay for the shooting, etc. Yeah, pheasants. There are the odd partridge, but just pheasants, okay. uh, which we uh, we come up here just to obviously have some sporting birds and uh, and enjoy yourself. There is a lot that goes into making a shoot this size work, with two keepers looking after their specific beats of the shoot, along with a myriad of staff on shoot days. As the day goes on, the shooting increases. Birds are falling in every direction. The guns have to be quick so as not to miss the next wave of birds coming over. The barrels are hot and everyone to a man is shooting very well indeed. It has been a hard year all round for shoots with wet weather throughout the entire season. Some estates have struggled with high instances of disease in release pens and most wild broods being washed out. On this shoot, however, they have managed to get through the worst of it to produce a great season for the guns. Each drive has gone exceptionally well so far and they still have a second day ahead. With the light drawing in, the guns make their way back with birds in hand, eagerly anticipating the next day's shooting. Thank you for that. 
With right. snow in the air and on the ground, day two begins right. with a draw for pegs. Ready when you are. In a rare quiet moment, Mark tells us a little bit about himself. Yeah, I've been shooting since I was 17, uh, quite some time now. Um, always been a shooting guy, always been a hunting guy. Uh, and obviously, been shooting all over the country, up in Scotland and down southwest. Um, and just came up here and love the scenery and love the love everything up here really. So that's what we come for. I mean, uh, the shooting down by us is nowhere near so challenging. There are the few places, but not so much as it is up here. I mean, the terrain lends itself for shooting. And uh, to be fair, the keepers do an excellent job here. Uh, we have two keepers, uh, Gavin Beatty and Victoria, um, and they do a very good job here. Uh, we try to average around about 150 birds. We don't like to shoot too many, uh, not big bags. Like I say, it's more about the sport and uh, obviously the, the challenge. Yeah, my passion is obviously the dogs as well as shooting. I get as much enjoyment uh, working the dogs as I do shooting. Uh, it's, it's a challenge for them and uh, it's lovely to see them enjoying themselves, which is what they're bred to do. It's a cold day as the guns look skyward to the overhead birds and the excitement builds. At this time of year the weather can be unpredictable but there is nothing better than a driven pheasant day with a hard frost or light dusting of snow. As many of the guns travel up from England to shoot, the syndicate always plans two back-to-back -back days of shooting to justify the travel. The cold weather has pulled the birds in and good numbers are going over the guns. More crack shooting continues to drop challenging pheasants and the bag builds. At the back of the line, the pickers up watch carefully to mark any pricked birds. They have an important role in every drive, but especially when the birds are high. Mopping up after the shooting is finished, they add more birds to the bag as the dogs work hard to bring the fallen to hand. Of course, it's not just about shooting, it's very much a social affair as well. Uh, we've had an excellent season this year, uh, we've achieved the bag every time we've shot and the uh, sold days have done exactly the same. Yeah, we're going to renew the lease uh, this year, uh, hopefully for another three years and, uh, and then we'll continue on the way that we are now. It's been a frantic two days of fast shooting and you can be sure the Branks Home Syndicate will be back next season. Okay. Byron there with some bird on bird action and now the shooting show news. This is the shooting show news, reporting direct from the British shooting show. Now in its fifth year, and in a new location, the show is bigger than ever. We navigated the aisles at Stoneleigh to track down the newest and the best products on display. Richard Folds and Amber Hill were in attendance at the Anglo-Italian arms stand to collect their new Guarini RF Ellipse Evo guns. Olympic gold medalist Folds said he would be getting back into sporting and fit ask with his new acquisition, so all eyes will be on the Guarini Pro Team in 2013. Fresh from launching the A5 semi-auto, Browning had the new Maral straight pull rifle on its stand. Andy Norris was keen to show it off. This is our first commercial launch of a straight pull rifle, which is derived from the famous BAR. So you've got a straight pull rifle, it will come with either APL, you can either attach APL mounts, or you can put weaver rails, which are a lot cheaper and simpler. It comes with a five or ten shot detachable, fully detachable magazine, which is easy operated with gloves. 
nice trigger, uh, decocking safety, and a very simple straight pull, and we'll go forward and load the round under its own steam with a decelerator inflex recoil pad, somewhere in the region of 1,850 pound, in calibers 308, 3006, and 243 for next year. At the Ruag stand, we spotted the Bergara MX-11 and got a demo of this Spanish rifle's interchangeable barrel system. Bergara rifle barrel makers, um, well known in the UK now uh, for making top quality barrels and this is the first of their new centerfire rifles. They've been making for the American market single shot stuff for some time. However, this is the latest offering, switch barrel, switch bolt. Considerable strength within there, six lugs and the bolt locks into the barrel. So albeit it's a switch barrel, if it's not even tightened up too hard, the barrel will not come away. To switch the barrel, obviously remove the bolt, the magazine, fore end removed. The rifle supplied with an Allen key. We have two little, uh, basically, Allen headed screws there. Uh, we loosen the two screws off, the barrel literally comes out, then you can just change the barrel for a new calibre. Top end scope maker Schmidt and Bender flew into the show straight from Germany and it had the new Stratos rifle scopes on display. There's one low magnification model for driven shooting and two six factor zoom models. Schmidt and Bender wouldn't give us an interview at the show, but they promised to spill the beans at Iwa. Nightside stand was crowded for most of the weekend, with interest in its units as high as ever. We found a quiet moment to talk about the company's new NV spotter. It's going to see well over 300 yards, probably 400. You can zoom in, zoom out, focus. It's going to do everything that you'll want it to from a spotting unit. It's going to be out in May, June time, so please come and let us see it. This product's been developed over the last sort of 12 months and we're looking now at uh, developing the NS200 and 50 models into a more diverse range of products. Uh, and that's probably all we want to say at the moment. Idleback will be importing the Marocchi shotgun brand from Italy later this year, and it had the first few models to tempt consumers at the show. I'm really proud that uh, we were chosen to be uh, the importers of these after so many years of absence. Of course, there's a big market out there. Uh, the future is rosy. I'm really looking forward to the challenge of promoting this in England. And finally, we spotted the latest high-tech optic on the market, a mobile phone. Gilsan Sports gave us the lowdown on a unique accessory. This is the eye scope, which is basically a unit that goes over the end of your scope, um, so you can fit your smartphone, so as you can video, take pictures, and shoot, basically, through the screen of your iPhone. Um, so if you, it's just basically so as you can you post to Facebook, YouTube within 20 seconds, show other people what you're doing. You can sort of use it for everything, really. There really is an app for everything. And that's all from the show. That was the Shooting Show News. You may remember in an earlier episode, we reported on the launch of Zolly Guns in the UK. Ten months later, we caught up with the man himself, Paolo Zolly, to see how the brand has developed. So tell me about Zolly's history. Where does the brand come from? Well, the brand is coming from Italy. The company was founded in 1945, immediately after the Second World War. And uh, we manufactured uh, everything in Cardone Valley. It is a place located close to Brescia, where the 95% of the sporting gun production is uh, manufactured nowadays. You've got a pretty intensive marketing campaign going on in the UK. Where will the marketing campaign go now? It's going to be very simple. The central of everything is the product. We think that uh, the reason of the success today of Zoli is the quality of the product and the price and quality relationship. And everything will start from this point. We say in Italy that uh, when you are successful in UK uh, with your sporting gun, you can be successful everywhere. So we felt such a responsibility and uh, only now, <clears throat> after eight years, uh, we started to manufacture the new line. Uh, we decided to approach very seriously the UK market. We found in Edgar Brother our best partner and we are very happy to have them and to work together. 
Uh, yes, you are right. We started with uh, sponsored uh, shooters uh, and uh, with uh, a selected net of dealers uh, and uh, uh, with a nice uh, marketing campaign through advertising. So how are the sponsored shooters getting on? How is that going for the brand and how are they doing with the Zolly shotguns? Very well, uh, I would say. Rather than to have too many uh, shooters, we, we like to start with something that uh, uh, is maybe uh, small in numbers, but that represent uh, the brand not only in terms of uh, uh, score, that are very important, results that are very important, but also in the type of approach uh, to, to the sport. Uh, all the shooters that became sponsored uh, uh, by Zoli uh, were shooters that initially has bought uh, their own gun. And even in UK we have a very good example, Becky Brim, uh, even before to approach us, uh, she uh, went in contact with the product by herself uh, and then uh, uh, we developed a, a sponsorship. So in UK now we have, uh, first of all, Becky Bream, but uh, she is very successful with our uh, products and she's winning uh, since the uh, last three years many major events. Phil Bailey's, but uh, he's a young uh, shooter, but uh, with a lot of uh, great possibility. Actually, he won uh, the gold medal uh, at the British Open. And uh, Jason, uh, he's, really, he's really doing very well as well. I hear you have a new sponsored shooter too. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Yes, uh, I'm very proud to announce that uh, starting from 2013, Stuart Clark, uh, the winner of the World Sporting Championship, is going to, to start and shoot with uh, a Zigal line. Due to an accident, uh, he damaged his shoulder and uh, has difficulties to shoot with an over and under. So he was forced to uh, compete with a semi-auto that usually are guns that has got a very much reduced recoil. After uh, testing uh, and trying uh, uh, the Z-Gun line, uh, he found out that our over and under was uh, uh, offering a very comfortable shooting with a very low recoil. And uh, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, even less, and these are uh, his words, uh, than his semi-auto. The Zolli gun is similar to other boss action guns. What makes them different? Uh, makes difference the fact that uh, uh, the gun was initially studied to be only a competition gun and afterwards it was declinated to be also a game gun. So from the beginning we understood uh, uh, that uh, we could not compromise uh, in order to satisfy the top shooter request. Uh, so uh, we decided the foundation of the gun should have been uh, a monolithic frame, detachable trigger mechanisms, boss locking system, uh, silver soldered barrels and uh, bushing firing pins with valves. Uh, so the cosmetic and the aesthetic and the design comes purely from uh, English style guns because I think in England has been manufactured the most beautiful gun in the world. You're sponsoring the Clay Shooting Classic in 2013, one of the biggest sporting events in the UK and if not Europe. Um, until now you've been sort of a boutique brand um, and obviously through these marketing campaigns you're getting bigger into the UK market. How does it feel to be sponsoring such a great event as the Classic? I feel very well because uh, in Zoli we are all excited. We know that the Classic is one of the major events in UK and uh, it is very popular and uh, it is uh, uh, taking place in five days because of the number of shooters participating. We know there are uh, different categories of shooters uh, from uh, more or less hunters to the top shooters so it's really a very, very interesting event from us. Uh, we are going to offer together with Edgar Brother uh, uh, one Z-Gun uh, for the high uh, gun uh, score. I also hope, uh, uh, maybe not for the five, day, oh, five days, but uh, to be present myself, uh, so I hope I will have a chance uh, to, to live uh, directly such a wonderful experience. Well, that's it for this week. We're out every Monday, 7.30pm UK time. This is The Shooting Show.